For decades, the specter of global warming has dominated climate conversations, painting a picture of sweltering heat waves, rising seas, and melting ice caps. But what if we're looking at the wrong disaster? While the world scrambles to combat warming temperatures, an equally terrifying yet largely overlooked possibility looms on the horizon. A new ice age. Yes, instead of a planet baking under relentless heat, imagine one locked in the icy grip of glaciers, where crops fail, cities freeze, and survival becomes a fight against unrelenting cold. History tells us that ice ages are cyclical, and some scientists argue that Earth is overdue for its next deep freeze. They point to subtle shifts in solar activity, ocean currents, and natural cycles that could soon plunge our planet into a frozen epoch. Could this be our destiny? Are we approaching another ice age? And if so, what factors will set it into motion? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. To understand the possibility of an impending ice age, it is essential to examine the Earth's climatic history. Over millions of years, the Earth has cycled through periods of glaciation, or ice ages, and interglacial periods, which are warm intervals between ice ages. These cycles are driven by natural factors such as changes in the Earth's orbit, axial tilt, and the distribution of continents. The most recent ice age, known as the Last Glacial Maximum, began around 115,000 years ago and ended around 11,000 years ago. During this time, vast ice sheets covered much of North America, Europe, and Asia, and global temperatures were significantly lower than today. Since then, the Earth has been in an interglacial period called the Holocene, characterized by relatively stable and warm conditions. However, the Holocene has lasted approximately 11,700 years, and interglacial periods typically last around 10,000 to 15,000 years. This raises the question, are we nearing the end of this warm period? The Earth's climate system is influenced by several natural cycles which could contribute to the onset of an ice age. One of the most well-known is the Milankovitch cycle, named after Serbian scientist Milutin Milankovic. This cycle describes how changes in the Earth's orbit, axial tilt, and precession, or wobble, affect the distribution of solar energy received by the planet. When these cycles align in a way that reduces solar radiation in the northern hemisphere, ice sheets can begin to grow, triggering a glaciation phase. Some researchers argue that we are currently entering a phase in the Milankovitch cycle that favors cooling, potentially setting the stage for the next ice age. Solar activity also plays a crucial role in the Earth's climate. The Sun goes through cycles of increased and decreased activity, approximately every 11 years, but it also experiences longer-term variations. Periods of low solar activity, such as the Maunder Minimum during the 17th century, have historically been associated with cooler global temperatures. This period coincided with the Little Ice Age, a time when Europe and North America experienced colder winters and shorter growing seasons. Some scientists have noted a recent decline in solar activity and predict that we may be entering a new grand solar minimum. If this occurs, it could contribute to global cooling, potentially counteracting the warming effects of greenhouse gases and even tipping the balance toward an ice age. The Earth's ocean currents play a vital role in regulating global temperatures. The Atlantic meridional overturning circulation, for instance, is responsible for transporting warm water from the tropics to the North Atlantic, moderating the climate in Europe and North America. However, there is evidence that the AMOC is weakening due to the melting of polar ice and an influx of freshwater into the oceans. If this trend continues, it could disrupt the balance of heat distribution, leading to rapid regional cooling and potentially triggering glaciation. Historical events such as the Younger Dryas period, around 12,000 years ago, demonstrate how sudden changes in ocean currents can lead to dramatic cooling. While global warming remains the dominant narrative, there are signs that suggest cooling trends in certain regions. For example, some parts of the Arctic have experienced a rebound in sea ice extent 
during recent winters. Similarly, anomalous cold events such as record-breaking snowstorms and unseasonably cold temperatures in parts of the Northern Hemisphere have raised questions about the variability of the climate system. Moreover, some researchers argue that the warming observed in recent decades may be part of a natural cycle that precedes a cooling phase. They point to historical periods of warming, followed by abrupt cooling, as evidence that the current trends could reverse. When the next ice age eventually arrives, it will undoubtedly bring about profound changes to our planet much like the transformations that occurred during the last glaciation over 10,000 years ago. The ice sheets drew water out of the oceans, resulting in lowered sea levels. Many rivers were transformed into vast valleys and lakes within continental land masses, and land bridges emerged connecting continents. The onset of a new ice age would have profound and far-reaching consequences for humanity and the planet. Unlike the gradual impacts of global warming, an ice age could unfold rapidly, leaving little time for adaptation. Regions that would be affected by the next ice age, if it were to occur, would face substantial challenges. According to certain hypotheses, temperatures at the equator could drop by approximately 10 degrees Celsius, and in northern and southern latitudes, they might plummet to as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius. Colder temperatures and shorter growing seasons would severely impact global agriculture. Regions that currently produce a significant portion of the world's food supply could experience declines in crop yields. This would lead to food shortages, higher prices, and increased competition for resources. Furthermore, the global geopolitical landscape would undergo a dramatic upheaval as lower sea levels would trigger significant shifts in international borders. Scientists project a staggering drop in ocean levels by about 150 meters. This transformation would unite Malaysia and most Indonesian islands into a single landmass, rejoin Sri Lanka with India through a land bridge, and merge Ethiopia with Yemen, reshaping the world map in unexpected ways. As ice sheets advance and colder climates become uninhabitable, large populations would be forced to migrate to warmer regions. This mass displacement could lead to geopolitical tensions and conflicts over land and resources. Furthermore, the economic impact of an ice age would be devastating. Cold temperatures would increase energy demands for heating, strain infrastructure not designed for extreme cold, and disrupt transportation and trade networks. Meanwhile, many species would struggle to adapt to the rapid environmental changes brought about by an ice age. Ecosystems would shift, and some species could face extinction as their habitats disappear. Presently, the situation doesn't appear as dire, thanks to the remarkable progress our civilization has achieved in recent centuries. We've achieved feats like space exploration and landing on the moon, so why should we be incapable of addressing the challenges posed by a looming ice age? Various intriguing ideas have emerged regarding how to survive such a scenario. One such idea involves introducing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere to raise the planet's temperature and chlorofluorocarbons may hold the key. This mixture exhibits higher efficiency in this regard compared to carbon dioxide. Additionally, glaciers could serve as a new energy source. On hot days, a towering mile-high ice wall would naturally begin to melt, producing a significant volume of falling water. This water could be harnessed to generate substantial energy. Envision massive hydroelectric power plants mounted on tracks running parallel to these mega glaciers, equipped with pipelines along their tops. Turbines would capture energy from the descending water, which could then be distributed to eco-farms located at the glacier's base. Furthermore, through genetic modification, it's feasible to develop unique crop varieties that can withstand extreme cold conditions. This would empower farmers to achieve bountiful harvests even in ice-covered regions facilitating human adaptation to such environments. However, it's worth considering that we might not ultimately require all these measures. Despite the arguments for a potential ice age, the overwhelming majority of climate scientists agree that global warming remains the more pressing concern. The accumulation of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere is causing unprecedented warming, with effects such as rising sea levels, more intense storms, 
and widespread heat waves. Critics of the Ice Age hypothesis argue that even if natural cooling factors are at play, the warming caused by human activities is likely to dominate. They also point out that models predicting an ice age rely on assumptions and uncertainties that make them less reliable than those projecting continued warming. The next ice age remains a matter of ongoing investigation for scientists. Nonetheless, it's imperative to recognize that Earth's history is marked by a continuous cycle of cold and warm epochs. Drawing from these historical patterns, it's apparent that winter may be drawing near. The extent to which humanity can weather the impending catastrophe hinges on our preparedness and proactive measures. Do you think the Earth will experience another ice age? Leave a reply in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.